Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about the Phoenix T6 pen light. This is a pen light that has a rechargeable internal battery. It features three different modes. A low mode for one lumen that runs for about 26 hours. A medium mode that runs for about 20 lumens for around 2 hours and 30 minutes. And then finally we have a high mode for 80 lumens and about 40 minutes of output. It's impact resistant for 1 meter and it has a water resistance of IP66. The dimensions are going to be 5.51 inches by 0.55 inches. Weight's going to be 1.16 ounces. This is made out of anodized aluminum and has a black coating on it and is USB-C rechargeable. Here on the table we can see the manual that the T6 comes with, the packaging, both front and back here, the actual pen itself, and the USB-C cable, and the replaceable O-rings. Here we see in the table the Phoenix T6 and the type of ink cartridge that it uses. It uses a Schmidt Mine, and this is a 635M, and the number on it is ISO 12757-2DM. And I bought a pack of 10 of these off Amazon to make sure I have enough ink for this pen to write with. So this is the cartridge here, and we have our pen here to give you an idea of the size reference. So on the outside we have a small button for the UI actuation. We also have a small ceramic bead at the top here. They say that's for window breaking. And to activate the pen cartridge, you turn this and it engages the pen in the slot holder. So that's how you engage with the pen here and write and detract it. You can also unscrew this to replace that cartridge. I'm not going to do it all the way, but you get the idea you can re-screw it back together and then you can back it off a bit and put it in its closed stage. To access the USB-C port, you unscrew this, reveals a O-ring here with some triangle cut threading here and the O-ring here on the side for the IP66 water resistant rating. And then we have the USB-C port here at the top and we can simply re-screw that back together. The important thing is with that is that I'll take it off real quick and we can set that down on a table like that and you can also write while being hands free and illuminate what you're writing. So that is important with the detachment part. So it stands flat, which is nice. So let's go ahead and get into the UI. You can lock this out as I shown just before by double clicking from the off position. It'll blink, so anytime you go ahead and try to push it, it will not turn on. And continue the blink, showing that it is in a lockout stage. Now to unlock it, you simply double click again, one, two, and it comes on in low mode. And you push once to rotate the modes here, low, medium, and then high. And you would hold down on the button to turn it off and put it in standby mode. If you push once real quick while it's not locked out, it will show a small green LED there, meaning that indicates that the battery is up to a close full charge. It will appear red once it goes down a little bit in terms of its charge status. So that kind of gives you an idea how much battery power you might have left, which is quite nice with the UI and the Phoenix T6. So I, I like that they added that feature in the UI there. So once again, even if you don't lock it out and it gets bumped once, it's not going to go turn on necessarily for a long duration of time. Simply going to show that green LED and that's it. So even without the lockout mode, it's got a nice safety feature against being bumped in the pocket, for example. On this side here, we have the clip here. It's got a nice retention to it. And the whole body itself is anodized aluminum and it feels decent and good for its price point, which I want to say I got this for about 30 bucks with the shipping included. And it seems like a decent deal for that price compared to say the O-Pen or any other pens out there on the market that are a combo light and pen unit. All right, we're back shooting an aperture of 7.1. ISO is 2500 with a white balance of 5000K on a Panasonic GH2 with 24 frames per second. We have the Opal Light Master Pro here in the center with its light sensor. And we're measuring Lux, CCT, and CRI. So we're going to go ahead and try to hold this up about a foot and a half above the table so we can kind of get a general estimate here. And I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but we're measuring at about, for the one lumen output, about 
15 to 20 lux approximately. CCT is about 55 to 6,000 on the temperature rating. And we have 72, 73 CRI rating. So that is it on low mode there. And let's go ahead and switch up to medium mode here. So we jump up to about 390 or so lux. And CCT is about the same, around 6,100. And CRI is about 69. Let's go to high mode here. And now we jump up to about 1,400 lux. And CCT is about 6,200. CRI is about 69 or so. So about the same ballpark for each type of level of brightness here. Let's go ahead and see the beam profile without all the stuff in the middle. Put that to the side there. And we'll go back to low here. We're going to hold this up about same height. And in the center here, we do kind of have a nice diffused beam. There's no real defined hot spot for low. Uh, medium, we get more of a tighter hot spot here, and it's very diffused. Good for close-up work. And then let's go to high mode again. And that's a good amount of light coming out of this pen light for its size. So we can go ahead and also unscrew this portion here and see how it looks when it's standing on the side here on the table. So we can kind of write in the dark here if we wanted to. And that would be a nice use for the function of the pen here. This has no memory mode, by the way, other than that it is locked or not locked. Some final thoughts with the Phoenix T6 pen light. Overall, I think it's a decent pen light for the price. I know when you sign up to the Phoenix website, you can get a discount, and it was on sale for about $30 or $32. And with the discount on top of that, it came out to about $30 uh, with the shipping included, free shipping. So it didn't really cost more than $30 for a pen light, which is a fairly good price for an item that can act as a light and a pen at the same time with a modular refillable non-proprietary ink inserts, meaning the Schmidt 635 M2 insert inserts. So that's a fairly a nice deal for a pen light in this classification amongst the others out there like the O-Pen from Olight or the uh, Wubin TP10, for example. So it's quite nice to have something in the lower price point with some decent quality. And what I like about it is that it has the UI mode here, which is spaced out evenly, in my opinion, for low, medium, and high uses with a decent amount of runtime on the medium mode, probably being the most used mode I'll use with this light. The pocket clip is strong and has good retention to it, so I don't think it's going to break anytime soon. And I do like the fact that it is USB-C rechargeable and it has a lockout mode, one of the best features. And also, it has this little green LED inside of it, so that kind of helps determine what the battery status would be, even though it's not a very specific indicator. But it does help where a lot of pen lights in this category don't even have that. So that's kind of nice that they added that in. And I don't mind the turn twist style activation. I think it's fairly uh, a unique thing amongst pen light combos that I've seen and used. So it, it kind of works out fairly well for its price point. Now for the negatives, one of them is the bead breaker on top, the glass breaker. I'm not so sure how well that works in reality, but it seems like a new fad these days with people or companies, including... I guess glass breakers on their pens. I don't know how effective that's really going to be. Me personally, I'd rather get a spring-loaded glass breaker, which is much easier to deploy if your arm is disabled. This type of thing is more of a gimmick in my opinion, but it is on there, so I do have to acknowledge that. The other negative with this is that it has a internal lithium-ion battery. I think it's a 110 milliamp hour or a 100 milliamp hour battery, which is sufficient enough for the run, run times as we, as we listed, but it's internal. So once that battery dies or becomes disabled, you can no longer use the lighting portion of the pen, which is kind of a bummer. So I felt like for that price, you probably could have put in a 10180 battery option like you would find on the Wubin TP10, for example, that pen light or the Refine P1 or the Claros TP20. That being said, it still works really well for an internal battery. The other negative thing is that, yes, this is also made in China as well. So uh, thoughts aside and opinions aside, that can be a plus or a minus depending on who you are. Me personally, it, it, 
it, my experiences, I prefer not to be made in China, but that is the truth of this. So that's something to consider with the Phoenix T6. That being said, this item does work as intended for writing. I haven't had any real skips in the writing with this item, so it's not such a bad writing experience. I would prefer a gel ink cartridge type of insert, but it's a roller ball, so that can be a negative or positive based on who you are. But overall, I think it's a fairly good item to have for its price point. And I think that's the takeaway here. For about $30, you can have a pen light combo, which fits in your EDC kit fairly easily and offers a good UI, in my opinion, with a lockout mode so you don't drain your batteries. And that's all I have to say about the Phoenix T6. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.